Hello and welcome to Football Daily where today we're bringing you 10 bold and potentially stupid predictions for the forthcoming season. 10. Timo Werner will be Premier League top scorer After a year in the Prem we still don't know how good Frank Lampard is, with his Chelsea conceding 54 league goals last term, their worst performance since 1997. However, we do know the former midfielder can coach a press, with only Southampton and Leicester pressing more often and recording more tackles in the middle and final thirds than the Blues last season. That means Chelsea constantly win the ball in dangerous positions, but in 1920 they underperformed in front of goal, netting just 69 from around 76 expected goals. Fortunately, they now have one of the best strikers in the world. Last year, Timo Werner scored 28 goals in 34 Bundesliga games, which works out to 0.9 goals per appearance, second only to Aguero in the Prem. He also took four shots a game, which would rank behind only Aguero, Jesus and Salah, and unlike those players, he'll likely feature as the sole striker and see little rotation, having missed just 12 league games in six years. Shockingly, Diego Costa is the only Chelsea player since 2010 to hit 20 goals in the league. But with Pulisic, Ziyech and Havertz behind him, Werner will be swimming in chances to join that tiny club. 9. Liverpool will sell one of their front three When Jurgen Klopp signed a new contract at Liverpool in December 2019, David Ornstein of The Athletic reported that the deal was part of a long-term plan for the Anfield side. With their manager tied down until 2024, the aim was to win the league in 2020 and 2021, then commit to a two-season rebuild before attempting to deliver a third title under the German in his final campaign in charge. That's because by the summer of 2021, all the front three will be 29, while key players like Henderson, Wijnaldum and Van Dijk will be in their 30s. And though those players will still be excellent in a year's time, a key part of Liverpool's business model has always been selling high when possible and using the cash to fund new acquisitions. For Salah and Mane in particular, age will begin to sap agility and pace, meaning the smart move would be to let one of them leave before the decline is noticeable to outsiders, when the club can bring in a fee big enough to forge another world-beating eleven. With the arrival of Diogo Jota, the Reds have already taken their first step in the process, but to acquire a genuine world beater like Sancho or Mbappe, they'll need to make room in the squad. Expect 2021 to signal the end of an era for Liverpool, but the start of an exciting new one. 8. Xavi will be Barca manager by the start of next season After failing with pragmatists like Valverde and Setien, Barcelona showed their signature imagination by hiring yet another this summer bringing in Ronald Koeman to fix aside leaking stars and money. Sacked by Everton in 2017 and known for a dull setup based on crossing, Koeman may have played under Cruyff but is hardly the great man reincarnated, and Barca fans demand not only winning but winning with style. That means Koeman is unlikely to last long, especially with club president Bartomeu on the way out. A fan petition calling for a vote of no confidence collected over 20,000 signatures over the summer, and even if that fails, Bartomeu will depart before the club elections in 2021, with Victor Font likely to take over. And Font has made his feelings about Koeman overwhelmingly clear, publicly declaring that he'd sack the Dutchman and replace him with Xavi, regardless of how Barca do this season, before the club had even officially announced Koeman's hiring. Despite his inexperience, Xavi fits Barcelona's desired image and Font's aim of building around academy graduates again. In a new war for the club's soul, Bartomeu and Koeman will surely be the first casualties. 7. Messi to sign a new contract It was inevitable that Messi's attempt to leave Barcelona would end in the most depressing way possible, and after briefly imagining a mouth-watering link-up between the Argentinian, Pep Guardiola and Kevin De Bruyne, we instead have to watch the best player of all time carry the Catalans once again, as they seek to erase the stain of a year without silverware and that 8-2 loss to Bayern Munich. However, blocking Messi's departure gives the club a year to convince him to stay and show they can match his ambition, an easier job if Xavi does come in. Who better to give Messi what he needs than his greatest ever teammate? And having won every trophy at club level, Messi may decide that the best thing for his legacy is to end his career as a one-club man, avoiding a Messi divorce from the Barca fans and, in mentoring youngsters like Ansu Fati and Ricky Puig, putting a stamp on the side which will remain even after he's gone. With Pep Guardiola potentially leaving City and PSG more likely to lose stars than add to them, there may be no natural destination for Messi anyway, and as a man who married a girl he met when he was just five years old, we think the GOAT will listen to his heart and stay at the camp now. 6. Haaland to outscore Lewandowski in Germany 
In at number 6 is our most outlandish prediction. Robert Lewandowski enters the 2021 season as the most informed player in the world's best team, having netted 55 goals in 47 appearances last season, his fifth consecutive year of breaking the 40 mark. And though the departure of Thiago will hit the team hard, they've been bolstered by the arrival of Leroy Sané, who contributed a goal and two assists in an 8-0 debut win over Schalke. However, Lever is now 32 and has to decline sometime, and thanks to COVID-19, this season could be just as gruelling as the last, with shortened winter breaks and more fixture congestion. That's a burden 20-year-old Arling Haaland is likely to bear more easily, and the Norwegian boasts just as good a record as the pole, hitting 44 in 40 games last term despite switching clubs mid-season. He got off to a flying start this campaign with a brace in the opening match, and with Jadon Sancho set to stay, as well as the development of Giovanni Reina and the arrivals of Jude Bellingham and Rainier, he'll be guaranteed even better service going forward. We can't see Dortmund pipping Bayern to the title, or even the German Cup, but perhaps Haaland can get his hands on an individual award. 5. Arsenal miss top 4 but win the Europa League for the first time since 2014, the feeling around Arsenal is good again, with the Gunners somehow finishing a nightmare campaign with a trophy, a new contract for Aubameyang and strong additions in Gabriel and Willian. But though Arteta seems the real deal, the Spaniard faces a huge challenge to reach the top four on his first attempt, even with more arrivals. Criticism of the Gunners has understandably focused on defence, but Arteta has the team defending collectively for the first time in 20 years, which should improve results in 2021. However, concerns remain over the side's creativity. 56 league goals last year was the club's worst record since 1996, and their top chance creator was Nicolas Pepe, who ranked only 34th in the Prem. Aubameyang's finishing covered up the problem, but across Europe's top five leagues, he has the highest conversion rate of any striker since 2017. A sign of quality, yes, but also suggesting he's made the most of limited opportunities and could regress. Man United and Chelsea were both better than Arsenal last year and are better funded, meaning fifth might be the ceiling for the North Londoners. But we predict Arteta's knockout magic will continue in the Europa League, returning UCL football to the Emirates in time for 21-22. 4. Atletico to finish above Barcelona Barcelona went into the summer with plenty to do, but with under two weeks left of the transfer window a yet to get going on the major squad rebuild everyone expected. Pjanic and Trincao have arrived, but both deals were agreed before last season's end, and rumoured targets like Memphis Depay, Serginho Dest and Jorginho Wijnaldum remain out of the Blaugrana's reach until the club can make money from sales. With such a disappointing window and the messy issue making headlines, Barca needed to keep morale high but instead have forced out beloved striker Luis Suarez, who now looks set to join Atletico. The Uruguayan, though slowing down, clearly has plenty left to offer after 24 league goal involvements last campaign, and arrives at a Rocky Blanco side who have re-signed Yannick Carrasco permanently, kept hold of Thomas Partey so far, and can expect more from exciting youngsters like 22-year-old Renan Lodi and 20-year-old Jao Felix this campaign. While Barcelona is a club full of individuals jockeying for position and status, Atletico remain unified and settled, and with Simeone driving them on, we're backing the Colchoneros to finish above Barcelona for the first time since they won the title in 2014. 3. Mourinho to be sacked Tottenham Hotspur's form may be patchy, but Jose Mourinho is as predictable as ever. From whining about transfer funds to signing ageing players, the special one's reign has been difficult and divisive. And with Leicester, Wolves, Chelsea United, Arsenal and Everton in the hunt for Champions League football, there's no guarantee he'll come out on top. He's also already involved in multiple feuds with his own players, having alienated Danny Rose, Tongi Ndombele and now Delhi Ali in his short tenure. And while he remains a smart tactician in one-off games, the league has changed around Mourinho. In his heyday at Chelsea, the Blues had only one or two serious rivals, and playing for draws in the big games and crushing the small teams was generally enough to win titles. But with more competition for the top four, draws are scarcely better than losses, and teams need to play to win, something which doesn't come naturally to the Portuguese. The Lily White squad is still rammed with talent, and if Mourinho can incorporate new stars like Reguilon and make peace with his old ones, Spurs could yet have an exciting campaign. If not, the coach's future will be determined by how well-liked he is, and for the modern Mourinho, that spells trouble. 2. Argentina will win the Copa America Though still international football royalty, the last 30 years have been rough for the Argentina national team. The Albi Celeste haven't won a major trophy since 1993, and in the nearly three decades since then have lost four Copa America finals and one World Cup final, 
going through seven managers in the last 10 years in their attempt to break the cycle. The squad remains exceptionally top-heavy, with Aguero, Dybala, Lautaro Martinez and Messi leading the line, but the midfield is beginning to catch up. Giovanni Lo Celso and Leandro Paredes are worthy heirs to Mascherano and Benega, while youngsters like Alexis McAllister and Ejequiel Palacios suggest a bright future. And results are improving too. Since the start of 2019, they've conceded 15 and scored 29 in 15 games. And though they lost to Brazil in the Copa America semi-final, they've beaten the Seleção since and drawn away with Germany, despite the absence of Messi. Die Mannschaft are the only team to outshoot them over 90 minutes in that time, and with next year's Copa America taking place partly in Argentina, and Messi determined to earn an international medal, it could be that the stars will finally align. 1. Juve will not win Serie A Despite a ninth consecutive title, Juventus face a season of real uncertainty for the first time in a decade. Andrea Pirlo may have scored 107 out of 110 on his coaching license exam, but managing an elite club in a title race is a different challenge entirely. And no one knows what style he'll play, let alone how good he'll be at implementing it, motivating players or making in-game tactical tweaks. That's a problem in the most competitive of Europe's top five leagues, and Juve don't have the talent advantage anymore either. Artur may be a better long-term asset than Pjanic, but it could take him a year to settle. McKenny doesn't seem like Juve's standard, and the pursuits of a 34-year-old Edin Dzeko and former player Alvaro Morata look uninspired next to the exciting young additions made by rivals, like Osimhen at Napoli and Hakimi at Inter. And age will continue to diminish the existing squad, with 11 of their current 26 players 30 or over this campaign. Bianconeri fans will point to Ronaldo's 31 goals last year as reason for optimism, but 12 of those came from penalties, with the Portuguese netting fewer from open play than Danny Ings. If Pirlo can't give the attack another gear, or return the defence to past glories, this could be the end of an era for the old lady. So those were our 10 predictions for the season ahead, but what will we get wrong and what will we get right? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to never miss a video. We'll see you next time.